Hi music students, it's Miss Wacker from home again. And today I'm gonna to show you another extension of the Chrome Music Lab. Now when I go to Chrome Music Lab, I see lots of different programs. Reminder, these have been made by different musicians combined with programmers to let people experiment, explore, compose, and see all kinds of connections between sight and sound and technology. We've looked previously at the extension called Kandinsky, was modeled after a Russian artist who said his process of painting was very similar to his process of music making. Today, we're looking right above that and featuring this program called Spectrogram. Now, a spectrogram in reality is a graph of all of the frequencies that make up sound. The science of sound is called acoustics and the graph that we're going to see, the spectrogram, shows darker areas where the frequencies have low intensities and brighter areas represented by frequencies that have high intensities in sound. Most of these buttons along the bottom of the program are gonna simply show us the way certain objects, musical instruments, or things found in nature sound, like this one, the harp. the trombone. Or the song of a bird. Now the feature I'm most excited to show you today is this first one that looks like a picture of a microphone. When you first click this, it may ask you to use permission to use the microphone on your computer, go ahead and grant that permission. And today I'm gonna to walk you through a basic sound lab procedure on how you might look at different sounds that you can make with your voice on the Spectrogram program. This procedure is brought to you by the Exploring Sound Group that is marketing the International Year of Sound 2020. If you were to visit this website, exploresound.org, You'll find some activities for different uh, groups of children in elementary, middle, or high school. We might see some of the projects they highlight in the elementary program later in this school year. You'll also find under the Exploring Sound tab, the International Year of Sound 2020 featured information, which does include for the most motivated of students out there, an international competition open to students in elementary school from five years old to 12 years old. Go ahead and check that out. If you really want to take a challenge, put yourself out there with your artistic creations. Today, they give us at explorasound.org a little procedure on using the spectrogram. Here's what I'd like you to do. First, before you go into the program, hold your fingers against the front of your throat where you feel a small bump Say the sound like the letter Z. Zzz. Do you feel your throat vibrate? You should. Second, now try saying the S sound. S, not this sound, S. Just the S sound. What's vibrating to make the sound there? Did you hear the difference between the Z sound and the S sound? One of them used your voice. Now turn on the microphone button in our spectrogram program. Use those voice sounds to say some vowel sounds. Start saying, oh, then change to saying, ah. Do you notice anything different about these images? Change the sound from ah to e. How would you describe the differences in these images? Now, try out that same S sound. This looks very different than our vowel sounds. Make the sound S of S and H. How are S and SH different on the spectrogram? Try out all those sounds with letter sounds and vowel sounds that we've made today. 
and a real great musician's connection to make, would be starting to see the connections between these levels on our spectrogram and notes that we might see representing rhythm and pitch on the musical staff. Think about how when we change rhythms, we might see a raising of the pitch and we might see a change in the look of a note when notes are longer or shorter like this. How do you think that would look on my spectrogram? Let's try it out. And so forth. Think also now how it might sound if we jumped around up and down on the musical scale like this example, or created harmonies with multiple pitches. Here's how my little musical example sounds. How do you think that will look on the spectrogram? Let's check it out. a lot of connections to how those frequencies look as to how they look on the musical staff. I hope you'll enjoy making those connections, checking out your vowel and letter sounds, and trying out all of the different sounds available to you in the Chrome Music Lab Spectrogram program. Enjoy, and if you have any questions or connections you want to share, as always, send me an email at cwacker at augprep.org. Thanks for checking out my music video today. I'll see you next time.